In EDM310, I learned a lot more than I thought I would. When I started the class, I was so confused as to why we had to watch all these YouTube videos and read all these articles and then write a couple of paragraphs at least on everything that we read or watched. To me, it felt like a lot of busy, busy work, but now I realize that I actually learned a lot by doing that. Instead of just watching or reading, I was able to go back and reflect on it, and I paid more attention, and I understood what I was talking about, and I still remember it. But that first week, I never thought I'd get the hang of HTML. I kept having to go back to the syllabus or Google how to do this and that, but I did it, and now I can do most anything I need to, at least for the blog post, without going back and referencing the syllabus. I can make things bold, I can add in links and pictures, and it is a lot easier now. Um, one thing I don't think I would have made it through the class without was the checklist. That saved my life. I felt a little bit proud every time I get to mark something in green that I did. Um, it kept me on schedule and on time, and I knew exactly what was coming up. And I was able to kind of look ahead and see what I needed to do to prepare for the next week. Um, I'd love it if every one of my classes had that. Yeah, we have syllabus and things like that for a class, but if you had a checklist, you can just mark everything off. I'm, I'm really thinking about making one for my classes coming up the next semester just to see if it helps or if it was kind of more effort than I needed but I really like that I'm glad we had that for this class I don't know how the people before ha did it without the checklist um, after this class I'm much more open to the idea of technology in my classroom I um I grew up, yeah, we had computers, but it was a special thing to get to use the computers. The internet was pretty much off limits most of the time, and you could only do certain schoolwork. Um, but I really, I like the idea of trusting the students to go in and talk to other people around the world in a matter of seconds. It's so quick now. And... Yeah, I will probably still have posters and paper and pencils and pens in my classroom, but I'm still, in my mind, a little old-fashioned with that stuff. I think everybody needs to work on their penmanship, and how else are you going to do that without writing? I, um, I'm open to the idea of homework on the computer and stuff, but I want them to be able to learn how to write correctly, how to use correct sentencing, without having the computer to depend on. And so many people today do depend on the computer for spelling and grammatical errors. I know I do. I'm a horrible speller. I don't know what I would do without my computer. But I hope that I can help my students use the computer and learn to spell and commas and periods and question marks all at the same time. Um, so I'm glad... This was one of the first classes I took as an education major. Um, I hope it'll help me in the upcoming classes. I hope it will help me understand and use technology in my classes coming up even before I graduate and go into my own classroom. It showed me a new way of doing things. And our technology today is still so young that there's no chance that we'll ever have to stop learning to use this technology. And I think this class helps that because it shows you you can learn new things with technology. We've learned about teachers who got all these new computers, didn't know how to use them, sat down, and now her students are blogging and using the computer, and I think that's great. And I would love to become a teacher like that. So I really enjoyed EDM 310, even though at first I was kind of iffy about it.